Howdy there, folks. I'm Gene the Pink Panther, and welcome to part four of Pokemon Red version. So, uh, in the last part, we just beat Brock. There's our boulder badge. It's fancy. It looks like a rock. <laughs> so, uh, let's talk to the guy who gave us tips earlier. Just as I thought, you're Pokemon Chant Material. And yay, our name was added to the list of winning trainers. I find it hard to believe that only two trainers have ever beaten Brock. <laughs> But yeah, we're Pokemon Champ material. So, uh, first things first, since that was a somewhat tough battle, I'm gonna go and heal. And I won't be showing every time I go to the Pokemon Center, but I'll be showing sometimes, so that way you guys get an idea of just how often you really have to go. Anywho, now that we're done healing, I love how quick it is, but now that we're done, let's go ahead and head east. Yeah, we're gonna make our way to Mount Moon. Uh, ooh, a sign. I don't think I read this one yet. Notice! Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. There are no police in Pewter City, though. Yeah, there, there really isn't any. Or aren't any. <laughs> so, uh, I switched Pidgey to the first slot so it can catch up with Squirtle again. So, uh, let's go and talk to her. Ah! That's right, it's random battle. You looked at me, didn't you? Jeez, I'm sorry. I was only walking in that general direction. I can't exactly move my character's head or anything. The last wants to fight. She sent out Pidgey. Yeah, little does she know. We're gonna send out Pidgey too. Ha! Sand attack! Oh. I meant my Pidgey sand attack. <laughs> so yeah, because we only have two attacks, it, it's pretty straightforward here. We're going to sand attack the bejeebus out of these things, and then we're going to attack. <laughs> I think I mentioned it before, but sand attack works best if you use it five times, because then they'll almost never hit you. <laughs> so yeah, they use Gust, we use Gust, if our Pidgey survives. Our Pidgey seems to get hit pretty hard compared to other Pokemon. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seems like my Pidgey's always on the losing end of the battle. Maybe it's because I sand attack too often. Nah, that can't be. There's no such thing as too often with sand attack. Oh. Oh, maybe there is. Oh, I hate the beeping. I hate the beeping. It's, uh, it's something I really wish they wouldn't have included. <laughs> anyway, Pidgey hit level 10. Ha ha ha. Dang, she sent out another Pidgey. So, I decided to switch out to Squirtle, because Squirtle's our heavy hitter. This Pidgey's no match for our Squirtle. Oh. See, if Gus doesn't even hit Squirtle as hard as it does Pidgey. There again, though, Squirtle's a turtle. I guess they're seen as a more defensive animal. Anyway, we're just gonna bubble the Bejeebus out of this thing, because Bubble's so freaking awesome. Ugh. I hate sand attack when it's being used on me. It makes things so much harder. <laughs> Normally, at least. But we won! Yay! We defeated the last. You're mean! You're the one who got mad because I looked at you. Quit staring if you don't want to fight! Jeez. So I go and heal at a Pokemon Center. <laughs> Jeez, what a mean... What a mean kid, good lord. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. That's right, this is a rematch with one of the trainers in Viridian Forest. A bug catcher. I wish they gave the name. They sent out a level 10 Caterpie. Kind of a waste, it could have been a Butterfree by now. But we'll see Butterfree later, I'm sure. At some point. <laughs> so, uh... I go ahead and stand attack again. Yeah, I know, it's a pretty repetitive strategy, but come on, Pidgey's only got two moves. And sand attack doesn't seem to be really working here very well. <laughs> I think it's hit me like almost every single turn. <laughs> I decide to switch over to Gus since, you know, I'm almost half dead now and it doesn't look like it's gonna start missing. So I just start gusting. I said this already, but at the beginning, the battles can be kind of tedious and not so intense, which does stink, especially when you're commentating. 
I'm worried I'm gonna run out of stuff to say, but I think I'm doing all right. So we took out the Caterpie. It gave us a lot more EXP than what I would have thought a Caterpie would. We hit level 11. We're catching up. Ooh, Weedle. Weedle's much more annoying to deal with than Caterpie, so I switch out to Squirtle. Switching Pokemon. I've mentioned it already. It's a key strategy. I know people who usually just have their one Pokemon in the first slot just fight until it drops and then switch. I don't know. I'd rather switch in the middle. That way the one in the front still gets the XP. Yeah, because the one that's always in battle gets EXP. I think I mentioned this already, but yeah. So because even though our Pidgey didn't really do anything to this Weedle, it's still going to get EXP because it was sent out. Anywho, though. Woohoo, Squirtle hit level 15. And it learned Water Gun. Water Gun's like Bubble. It's a Water-type attack. It's definitely special attack based. But, uh, it hits a lot harder. <laughs> As I'll show off right here gonna speed these battles up a lot quicker. See, it almost took out the Caterpie in one shot. I switch over to Bubble to do the finishing blow, though, because I still love Bubble. But yeah, Water Gun, it, it's a very strong move for this point in the game. There isn't really anything that's strong against it yet, so it's a good option. So let's go and we're gonna switch Pidgey out so it doesn't go down. Or at least that's what I thought I was going to do, but I decided not to, apparently. <laughs> Hi, I like shorts. They're short and comfy to wear. Awesome. I don't share your enthusiasm. I do not like shorts. <laughs> I don't I don't know what it is. I like pants. Don't like shorts. Anyway, they sent out a Rattata, level 11. Which is bad. It's going to be able to beat up our Pidgey pretty darn fast, as you just saw. Not sure... Ah, uh, no, I definitely switch out. It's like, okay, Pidgey's going down in one more hit. I need to switch. So, of course, we bring out our only other Pokemon, Squirtle. Which, Rattata still is hitting Squirtle pretty hard. But we have Water Gun, which, you know, it can't stand up to. Two Water Guns and it goes down. <laughs> Boom, we just beat Rattata. And no one leveled up. Dang. Ekans. And this game, Ekans, really shines out compared to other Pokemon because of the, its wrap attack, which I don't think this one uses before I take it out. They don't fix wrap until the next version, but in this one, when a Pokemon uses wrap, you can't do anything. The Pokemon that's being wrapped can't do anything, attack, retreat, anything, so you just have to sit there and let it beat you up. I don't believe it! Well, you better. I just whooped your butt. Ha! Are you a trainer? Let's fight! Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I forgot to switch out Pidgey. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I'm positive I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry for the beeping. It's so annoying. I don't know what I'm doing here. I, Looking back, I should have just switched Pidgey out. I mean, especially now. I mean, it's got two HP left. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I finally realized, oh, Jesus, I gotta switch him out. And so, again, we bring out Squirtle. Squirtle's the heavy hitter of our team right now. Oh, and again, I'm getting so lucky in this game with poison. I have yet to be poisoned. I do believe, though, that I get poisoned in a later video. But, yeah, I don't think I get poisoned yet. It's just baffling. Uh, Kakuna is a good option, or a good time to level up our Pidgey. Because Kakuna can attack us. Yeah, if you raise a Kakuna from a Weedle, it'll have Poison Sting, but since evidently none of the computer or en enemy in game, in game enemies rather, uh, use train Weedles into Kakunas, they just catch wild Kakunas. Because of this, evidently they're, all their Kakunas only know Harden. <laughs> so it's a good time to level up Pidgey, especially since Pidgey is about to die. <laughs> uh, it may take a little bit with just Gus, but we can do it. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Finish off the Kakuna. Come on. Come on. I think it's one or two more shots. Come on. Is this it? Yes, we finally beat the Kakuna. Huzzah! And Pidgey hit level 12. 
and it learned Quick Attack. Quick Attack is awesome because it lets you go first. Yeah, it lets you when you use that attack, you get to hit the enemy first, which, even though it's not a super strong hitting move, this can really make it a lot more effective. Because say you're fighting a Pokemon that's faster than you, and you have it almost dead, but and you can kill it in one more weak hit, but it's faster than you, and you're about to go down, because it's faster and it's stronger. And you use Quick Attack, you'll get to go before them and take them out. Squirtle hit level 16. Freaking awesome. Metapod. Metapods work just like Kakuna's, so we're gonna go ahead and level up Pidgey again. Or try to. I don't think Pidgey's gonna level up this quick. <laughs> but, uh, we'll use Quick Attack. Boom! It's a nice, simple, awesome animation. I love Quick Attack. It's a good move all throughout the game because it's the only one right now that lets you strike first. Not that it matters for Kakuna. I could be using Gust right now and it wouldn't make a difference. But yeah, Quick Attack's awesome. It's one that you may want to hold on to if you're going to use Pidgey and all of Pidgey's evolved forms throughout the game. Which I'll be talking about evolutions here in a little bit, actually. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Quick Attack's a nice move to hold on to. It's a very good strategic attack. Anyway, though, we finally take out Metapod, almost. <laughs> now we finally take out Metapod. I'm sorry, these battles at the beginning are so tedious. They won't be for the rest of the game, I promise. <laughs> Eventually, they're going to speed up a lot. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. Yeah, probably. What? Squirtle is evolving? Uh, normally, I would just let Squirtle evolve, but I pushed the B button during the evolution, and I stopped it. And decided to keep it a Squirtle. And my reasons for doing this which I'll point out when we get to why I did it. But yeah, you can let Squirtle evolve, or Bulbasaur, or Charmander. They all evolve at level 16. I go and heal out of Pokemon Center. And I realized that I didn't talk to these guys. There are other kinds of Pokemon than those found in the forest. This is very true. Are you storing your Pokemon on PC? Each box can hold 20 Pokemon. I already explained that. If a Pokemon box on the PC gets full, just switch to another box. Something very irritating to do, by the way, because they won't let you catch any more until you do. It's very annoying. Anyway, though, that look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Okay, so we've had one girl who was offended by me, you know, even just barely glancing at her because, you know, I was walking in that direction. And then we have this one who apparently likes being looked at. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> As you can see, when an enemy Pokemon uses Quick Attack just like ours, and they're faster, they still get to go first. That is Quick Attack's big downside, but the fact is, is that not very many Pokemon hold on to Quick Attack. So that's not a huge issue. Like I was saying, though, before we went and healed and talked to all these people, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander all evolve at level 16. So, if you want, no matter which starter you pick, you can evolve at level 16 and be stronger than anything these guys are throwing at us. Yeah, none of these guys' Pokemon can stand up to the evolved forms of Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur. But, like I said, I chose not to evolve Squirtle, and, well, I said we can talk about it when I get to that point and all that, and I can elaborate further. The big thing about when you choose not to evolve a Pokemon is they learn their attacks earlier in level than when you evolve them, and they're also easier to level up. Be nice! Okay. Avoid fights by not letting people see you. Yes, let's sneak around behind people's backs. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. I already said this, I don't like shorts. God, cut me some slack. <laughs> youngster wants to fight. The youngsters look really pissed off in this game. <laughs> oh, this is a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. This is Sparrow. Uh, Sparrow hits harder than Pidgey. <laughs> Sparrow's a very powerhouse-ish kind of bird Pokemon. In fact, this is probably the game where Sparrow and its evolved form are the best. Yeah, not very many other Sp games is Sparrow a very good Pokemon. Although, Sparrow looks very odd in this game. I mean, if you look at its neck, it looks like it has what looks like a drumstick sticking out of, it, out of the back of its neck. <laughs> Maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but yeah, it just it looks odd. I always thought Sparrow was just very odd looking. 
But yeah, this game, Sparrow's a pretty powerful Pokemon. And it's another good option, because you can actually catch one pretty early on. I just chose not to. I'm sorry, I know. I'm a letdown. Lost, lost, lost! That's right, you lost. I always wear shorts, even in winter. I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> Where I live, it gets down to negative 20, usually sometime. Usually right around January, it gets down into negative 20. Wearing shorts in winter is asking to get frostbite. <laughs> Anyway, though, let's talk to this guy. You can fight my new Pokemon. So yeah, essentially we're fighting a bunch of the guys we already fought in Viridian Forest. Or so the game wants us to think. Or at least that's how I see it. A level 11 Caterpie. I don't think Pidgey can take a hit from Caterpie. If it can, it can only take one. So we switch out to Squirtle. <laughs> uh, and again, they're using String Shot way too much. I don't get it. String shot in this game, it, it's not helpful enough, especially not at the beginning of the game. <laughs> I actually think it might be the only move that lowers uh, Pokemon's speed. I don't know, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it is in this version. Not that it matters, because really that's a very minor thing. Increasing your speed on the other hand is awesome, but we'll get to that some other time. Again, because Metapod's easy kill, we send out Pidgey. And I, I just, I have to apologize for the beating. I know it's terrible and I'm sorry, but it's part of the game. Well, I know something really bad. Try playing this game with headphones on and the volume all the way up. When your Pokemon's beeping and you're going, and you're like in the middle of an area where you can't get to a Pokemon Center to heal. That's incredibly annoying. <laughs> anyway, Quick Attack hits a lot harder than Gus, so we've managed to finish this up pretty quick. Pidgey's level 14, it's caught up for the most part. There's only two level difference. Done like dinner. Yes, you are. <laughs> Trained Pokemon are stronger than wild ones. This is true, actually. Oddly enough, this is very true. Anyway, because I'm tired of the beeping and Pidgey hit level 14, I switch over to Squirtle. Eek! Did you touch me? Okay, so let's let's recap a little bit. We had one girl who doesn't like it when people look at her. We had one girl who enjoys people looking at her. And we have this one who doesn't like people touching her. The last one makes more sense. I mean, random people touching you, that's kind of creepy. And I guess, in a way, if you look at it well enough, people looking at you is pretty creepy too. But still, I mean, come on. <laughs> ah, freaking Jigglypuff. <laughs> Jigglypuff looks very chunky compared to normal, or compared to later on games in this one. It looks a lot chunkier, and I think it's funny. It doesn't look so balloonish. Uh, as you can tell, uh, Jigglypuff's big thing is sing. It can put Pokemon to sleep. There are actually Jigglypuff in this area, but again, I don't feel like catching one, because I, I like Jigglypuff. I like its evolved form, but I'm not a big fan. And what's more, I don't feel like using one. Yeah. I know, I suck. That's it? Yeah, that's it. You lost. <laughs> she beat me up pretty bad, though. Route 4 is at the foot of Mount Moon. Alright, we're almost there. Yeah, we're almost to Mount Moon, where we encounter what so many people consider the most annoying Pokemon ever. Whew, I better take a rest. Ugh. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. I'm going to assume he means Mount Moon, because there are actually two tunnels that are connected to Cerulean in a sense. So, I'm going to assume he means Mount Moon, since that's the general area we're at. Hey, let's talk to her. Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon Geodude. You know, I don't know how she could have done that. Geodudes are huge. Well, for rocks, they're huge. Anyway, so let's heal and let's chat around the Pokemon Center. Yes, Pokemon Centers are not only in town. There are several that are, you know, in wilderness or by certain areas, so just keep an eye out. If you have too many Pokemon, you should restore or store them <laughs> into the PC. <laughs> I have six Pokeballs set in my belt. At most, you can carry six Pokemon. That's true. Team Rocket attacks ruling cit citizens. Team Rocket is always in the news. Hello there, have I got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a swell magic card for just 500 Poke Dollars. What do you say? Sure! 
Do you want to give a nickname to Magikarp? No. Well, I don't give refunds. Wait, what? But why would you need? Why would I need a refund? Wait a minute. It's level five and its stats are really low. It only does splash. What, what the heck? Let's check the Pokédex. Something's fishy here. <laughs> no pun actually intended on that, but it was still hilarious. Let's check the Pokédex. And wow, it's way down on the list. Holy bejeebus. Good lord, 129. Let's see. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Son of a flip nugget! Ah, oh, you rat bastard! <laughs> yeah, we got ripped off. We bought a weak, weak, worthless Pokemon. Frick nuggets. Anyway, this concludes part four of Pokemon Red. I hope you stay tuned for part five where we make our way through Mount Moon. I'll see you folks later.